In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create this stucco and plaster displacement using only two nodes. This should take about less than a minute to set up, so let's get started. Open up the node editor for your object. We're going to add a new node, so click the add button down here or click shift A on your keyboard and search for the noise texture node. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this noise texture to create our details of the displacement, then convert it to our own displacement texture, and finally, giving us the results that we want. We first want to adjust the pattern of our noise texture, so in order to see what we're doing, let's plug in the noise texture's color output into the diffuse shader's color input. As you can see, we get this rainbow color to our object, but what we're really going to do is size out the pattern by a lot. Adjust the scale value to any number in between 700 to 1000 that is most appropriate to your object size. It's really just about playing around with the digits. In the end, I ended up getting 810 to be just right. Next, we're going to add in a hue and saturation node to convert the noise texture. Place it in between the connection of the noise texture and the diffuse shader. There's one problem. We want to eliminate the colors and only use harsh black and white values. So instead of using the color output, we'll plug in the noise texture's factor output into the hue and saturation's color input. We did it this way to convert it to black and white without losing any details of the noise texture's pattern. We can use the value's value as the strength of the hue and saturation. Think of it like this, the darker we make it, the less intensity of the bumps. You'll see in just a little bit, but setting it to half of between 0 and 0 0.1 is normally just right. We can test out how it looks by disconnecting the hue and saturation's connection to the diffuse shader's color input and plug it into the surface material's displacement input. You can now see the displacement effect it creates. Adjusting the value's value to higher than 0.1 makes the bumps way too strong, and setting it to 0 basically eliminates the entire displacement. And that's the entire setup. Not too hard, should really only take less than a minute. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like to show your support, and comment below your thoughts. And before I end it, I would like to say thanks to the support and purchases of the Kirby Blender Rig version 3 released recently. We're really going places with this product. Thanks for watching this tutorial again. Please leave a like to show your support and subscribe for more quick tutorials like these and other things CG.